right, so we just got done installing all the perimeter and we made sure and left gaps for all of our roof fence that we are going to be building. So we need to go ahead and go get more wood here in a little bit. But in the meantime, we're going to start building the root fence. And for anybody new here, the whole reason we're doing the purlins is so we can have a thermal break between the metal roof and the roof deck. And the reason why we have the vents is to allow a passageway for the hot air to escape. And also, if any water does get underneath, it has a pathway to travel out. We're done building all of the vents and we went ahead and got all of the pearl and wood today. So we are all ready to start getting that up here and installing it. We got something in the mail the other day that's really exciting and we wanted to show you guys. Yeah, let me go grab it real quick. Ah. Got our plaque from uh, YouTube for hitting that 100,000 uh, subscriber mark. Something that we couldn't have done without you, the viewer. So, look at that sweet thing. Are you talking about me again? <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> didn't, expect, yeah. didn't expect. Bear and I thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So thank you guys for, I mean, not only subscribing and following us on this journey, but you guys are helping us turn this dream into a reality. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the hiccups, I'm sorry. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you guys. It also doubles as a mirror. I cannot wait to hang this up in our house. That'll be crazy. Uh-huh. Do you think we'll ever hit a million? Do I? What do you guys think? That's the real question. So does this mean we're officially YouTubers now? I would assume so. I was gonna say, I think this makes us pretty legit. 
too legit to quit. Something like that. <laughs> and it's really cold here. Just to give you guys a good idea of how cold it is. Okay, last night we had snow flurries. Okay. It was funny, we were inside the barn and I could hear, I thought it was rain hitting the top of the barn. And I'm like, that sounds different. You know, I'm very familiar <laughs> with what rain sounds like and that's not it. And Spencer goes outside, sure enough, there was snow flurries coming down. So yeah, I'm really cold. So that's why I had to pull out my snowsuit. I know it's not snowing right now, but this wind is piercing my soul. <laughs> we're still Floridians at heart. We're not used to it. So we're bundled up and we're all ready now to get the last portion of our metal roof on. So we have to do the drip edge and then we can get all the metal roofing up there and installed. Let's do it. No, but, ah! So after a lot of trial and error, we finally found out the best method of keeping the metal roof straight because it is so easy to get them off and the further you work down. If you're off like a, an eighth of an inch, that eighth of an inch works into a much larger number the further you go down the roof, especially if you have a longer roof. So our method, as long as you have a square house, which this was pretty pretty square what we did was we laid three panels down to keep them as straight as possible so make them as square as possible to the roof and then we installed three screws vertically and just to, did that for the whole way down we we did have to slightly stagger them but we're, we're talking like an eighth of an inch max between the next three sets of panels so next nine feet this method right here has been the best each roof was slightly different, but this 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 one I'm I'm really happy with. But yeah, Spencer stumbled across this method after doing some research because because I don't know why, but with this side of the roof, we would go and we'd put one panel down. We would think it would be perfect, and then we'd go put the next panel down, and it would just the stagger just started. And we know that it's just going to get worse as we keep going down the line of the roof. So then that's when he came across this method and it actually worked. So for first time roofers, knowing this would have been very helpful when we first started. <laughs> but at least we figured it out, you know, on the last section of the roof. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that, uh, that center section roof went together really easy. I, I think mainly because we were able to stand on the container roof and like li literally adjust it perfectly to what would seem square. We did have to stagger them just slightly, but the further south roof, man, that one was a nightmare. It was it was very difficult to uh, get correct, and it's probably the least straight out of them all. Yeah. Granted, they are going to be, there's going to be gutters over them, so any, any little bit of staggering that you can notice, it's going to be covered by a gutter, so. That's not really a worry at all. Yeah, between gutters and trim, it's definitely not a big deal. And it's one of those kind of things that we will notice it 
because we're we the ones that built it. it. Yeah. yeah, but no one else, I don't think, could even ever notice anything. Yeah. But this one I'm super happy with. Yeah. <laughs> And once all that's done, do we- Do that over again. Why did you go- <laughs> Don't do that! Yeah, and once all that's done, we get to work on installing the metal roof. <laughs> what? Because, and once it's done, we're going to start drawing. The metal Spit roof. it out! And once that's done, we're going to work on the metal roof. <laughs> Come on, do it for real. Don't step in the middle of the panel. Don't you just love when scrap pieces are the perfect size? Beautiful. <laughs> what is this face? What do I do after? Do I make a face or just like... A smile. Don't you just love when scrap the pieces shot. fit perfectly? I could be like in the commercial for scrap wood. Uh, I don't think there are. <laughs> Don't you, should I look at the camera or yeah. at you so it looks more yeah. natty? Camera! <laughs> <laughs>